Hey everyone, good morning. It is Monday. Welcome to another studio vlog. So I am just coming into the office today, putting down my stuff and oh my goodness, we have a lot. Like this week is, is insane. So today is gonna be like filming day because I have a lot of stuff to film. Um, I have to film some stuff for Candlebiz Academy and then filming this vlog. Also, I have something else I need to film. And, oh, another thing. So tomorrow, the city, my city is coming, or someone from my city, the, I don't know, publications are coming and they're gonna film inside the studio. They're gonna do a story about me. It's gonna be a whole thing. They're gonna film me making candles. I don't know where this is gonna air. I don't know if it's gonna be on the news, on the Facebook page. I have no idea. I'm sure I'll find more out about that tomorrow, but yeah, you guys. Anyways, I just got in for the day and I'm gonna set you here. I just got in for the day and I'm going to start setting up the computer and stuff. So Candle Biz Academy is launching again on, I believe, let me get my phone, the 28th. So enrollment is going to be on March 28th and that's a Sunday and then that's going to last for 10 days. So you have 10 days to enroll my computer house stuff. So. Um, I think in the last vlog I told you guys about how we were applying for self-employed mortgage. My husband is a 1099 worker so he's considered self-employed um, and then I'm self-employed obviously so I had no idea how hard the self-employment process is to get mortgages because you know I, <laughs> I didn't do a ton I did some research but I did not think it would be this hard because um, I've actually never heard anybody else who's self-employed like on YouTube or anything no one has ever talked about it but I understand like probably if you have a huge huge down payment it's a lot easier for you like if you can put a hundred two hundred thousand down it's probably gonna be a lot easier for you but I have like normal people down payment like the average down payment um, that you put for a house so um first lender said no it was navy federal and i don't want to like you know i don't usually bout bad mouth businesses but it was a really it was just not a great experience the particular loan officer we had um now that i am working with a different company that's on the different spectrum of customer service i understand like how how that went the way it did the first time, just because it takes a lot. Your loan officer really has to get to know your situation before they submit your stuff to underwriting. So you have to tell them the whole T. You gotta tell them every single thing that's going on with your finances, and plus we have another house, right? So they had to know everything about that house, what we're gonna do with that house. We ended up renting the house out, you guys. We had to, within two days, I printed out a lease, got the thing signed, turned it in, had the tenant, blah, 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 blah. like. It was it was insane but anyway we successfully rented that out we've got an approval back and the person we rented is somebody we know so if anything falls through it's not like we're gonna be homeless um, so yeah but so far so good so we got a conditional approval we're still waiting on the appraisal I, I'm, I have hope I have hope anyways let me plug in my computer and I'll, I'll get back with you guys in a second <laughs> All right, so what we're doing today is we're getting an Amazon shipment ready. So we've already kind of determined what we're sending. And then Sierra went ahead and pre-made our boxes for us. And then now what we're going to do is package everything up. So I went ahead and submitted the um, shipment details and everything to Amazon and printed out all the labels. So now we're just going to put everything into the white boxes and then sticker them. So there's something like this. So when these get sent into Amazon, they're just gonna scan this back barcode label. And these labels, Amazon uh, generates those for us. So I opted for white boxes. So these aren't my custom boxes that I usually send when people order from my Etsy shop or my Shopify store. And that's because when you order from Amazon, you're not really expecting an individual customer experience from each brand. You're just kind of expecting something you know, quick within two days. So I figured having a white box isn't going to really be a big problem. And this is going to just help offset the cost of and the fees associated with using Amazon FBA. So these boxes are from eBay and I don't remember the price exactly, but they're probably in the 50 cent range per box. 
But anyway, that's what we're doing now. We're going to work through, and I think we're sending about 37 candles. So we're probably going to get these ready and maybe ship them off tomorrow. Hello everybody, welcome to Tuesday. So today is gonna to be kind of an eventful day because um, at 11.30 people from my city actually are gonna come and film. So he contacted me and he was interested in spotlighting a local business and so that's what we're gonna to do today. They're gonna to come in the office and shoot us um, packaging orders, uh, making candles, and maybe ask us some questions or something. So we'll see how that goes. But before they come, I'm actually going to um, like straighten up a little bit. I'm gonna turn you around because my husband actually came and he organized quite a bit already. So he, um, he condensed all of this down and we moved the table that was here. We moved it right here for now. And then, um, yeah, so he did a lot in here and he made it look really nice. He cleaned up. So he came in on Thursday and Friday and kind of helped and cleaned up and stuff. So I'm actually just going to clean up the table and I'm probably going to prep some stuff like prep candles so that when they come, we can just go ahead and start making stuff. So anyways, that is what I'm going to do now. Okay, you guys, so we finished up the interview with the city. It went really well. So I'm actually really bad with interviews. Like, <laughs> it just reminded me of when I won that, that Etsy thing and my interview just tanked and was so bad. But this one went better. Um, I was still kind of nervous. Like, answering questions in a continuous sentence is kind of hard for me because I tend to, like, mess up a lot. Even when I'm filming, I'll mess up what I say. Um, like it's hard for me to like string string a sentence together or a whole like explanation I don't know maybe it's just me maybe I need to practice um, speech or something I actually failed speech in college by the way but so that went really well they're very nice and I think they said that the interview is gonna come out in April so I will keep you guys posted on when that comes out. So now we're just kind of catching up on orders and stuff since that took up about um, a good hour. So, so we actually want to start coming up with a better workflow so that we can um, up the output of product so that we can have like a whole bunch of product in Amazon. The goal is to keep Amazon stocked and then also have enough product to fulfill orders for the shop. So we're working on a workflow. Um, so that's probably something we're going to be starting up tomorrow since we're kind of caught up on everything. But yeah, so that's what we're up to you guys. But I will check back in with you guys later. Hello everybody. Welcome to 
what's today? Wednesday. So it's just me in the office today. I have a lot of stuff to do. So I'm gonna take you along for the day. I just got in. I got held up at, um, what is this place? Duncan. Uh, there was a little, they were running behind this morning. But um, yesterday, Sierra prepped a whole bunch of candle bases. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that. And then I'm probably going to attempt to do, um, to start to, like maybe 50 candles of strawberry shortcake. So that's what I'm gonna do, you guys. Anyways, um, but yeah, so we have that. And then Candle Biz Academy, I announced it yesterday. So Candle Biz Academy is going to launch on March 28th. So I don't have a ton, a ton of updates. I did a lot of the heavy lifting the last launch. I revamped a lot of the lessons. I'm still gonna revamp some of these lessons. So Amazon, the photography, I'm gonna check any audio issues. So one thing that I did last time when I corrected a lot of the audio issues, the lesson was really good and I didn't want to like, speak about the like redo the lesson so what i did was i got my lesson transcribed transcribed into text and then so i just used the same screen capture and then read it like a script so it was the same exact lesson but just with better audio <laughs> so i'm gonna check on that and then yeah so i think i'm gonna maybe just make a little to-do list first before i get started for the day sounds good Okay, <clears throat> so I went ahead and made my little to-do list. I got quite a bit of things to do. It's already 11 a.m., but I've knocked out a few things already that I had to do like via email and just some projects that I'm working on. So these are the rest of the things that I need to do. So finish the toppings on the candles, pack any remaining orders in the queue, prep a big strawberry candle batch and then call for my containers. I tried to order my containers yesterday, but they're saying that, I don't know, there's something wrong with the quantity. So I'm gonna call the candle supply and then order those and then boxes for Amazon shipments. So for Amazon, I use like those white boxes that I showed you. Um, and then if I have time, review some Candle Biz Academy lessons, but we shall see. Um, I have a lot of stuff to do also for the house that we're buying so we are almost at the home stretch you guys cannot believe this whole house process so i gotta do some more paperwork on that but anyways that is what we're doing today i need to get started it's 11 um let's just let's just get started <laughs> Okay, so I've explained this before just uh, briefly in one of my other videos, but some people were wondering, um, in one of my TikToks I mentioned that I have my wax melter come on automatically. So I do it with this smart plug here, and then I have the, um, this is the Casa smart plug, so you can use the Casa app or the, Ca or the Amazon um, Alexa app or Google, whatever the heck you use. And then you can have your wax melter on a schedule. So it turns on before I come into work so that when I come in, it's just melted and all that and ready to go. All right, so it is now currently one o'clock. I feel like I've gotten a good amount of work done and I'm just finishing up some of the last candles so we can you know, go ahead and do all the orders. But um, I just had a call. So I've been going back and forth with a person interested in purchasing wholesale and um, they wanted to make a huge purchase up to twenty thousand dollars of product so i just got off of the phone with them today and i decided to not take this particular deal and this is just you know my um my business decision and i wanted to kind of let you guys in on why i made this decision so they wanted to um, not only sell it on their own distribution platform which was fine with me but they also wanted to um, allow Amazon resellers to buy my product. So even though they were willing to purchase like $20,000 of product, cap, like upfront, 
no payment terms. I didn't feel comfortable with the fact that people would be able to sell my product on Amazon. So it'd be like, I'm on Amazon too, so it, it would create this competition and there's no telling how many other people have um, Amazon accounts or how many other people would be getting a hold of these candles. So I was just like, I'd rather not take the 20,000 because in the long run, I feel like that could create some issues. And not only that, like when I um, vet people to wholesale online, so wholesaling online is a bit risky. Well, wholesaling to other online stores is a bit risky because you could be um, competing with yourself because we're all on the online space and you really have to make sure you vet the people and make sure they're not going to undercut you in price, make sure they're not going to rip your labels off. So selling to a brick and mortar store, obviously you're probably not in the same town, you're not going to have two stores next to each other. So that's kind of the difference between online and brick and mortar. I like to vet the people and make sure, you know, um, I, I build a relationship first and get to know their business. Um, so for me to sell it to a distributor and that distributor sells it to anybody who is an Amazon reseller, I would not be able to have control over who is putting my stuff on Amazon, what prices they're charging, the integrity of how they're getting, the product is getting to the customer. So they could totally let the product melt to do something crazy and then it has my name on it. So yeah, not going to do that. I decided to not go with that deal but anyways we are moving on with the day and trying to get these orders out the door so i'm gonna take like a little snack break yesterday or the other day my husband actually handmade some baklava so if you if you guys never had baklava before he's not like turkish or anything but he really just likes this dessert um so this is a turkish dessert and he made this he didn't make the the phyllo dough himself but um, he put it together, made the mixture and everything, and it's really, really good. So I'm going to eat this and take a break. Hey everyone, so I think I am going to end the studio vlog here. It's another Monday, so we had a pretty busy week and I know the video is kind of getting long, but one cool thing, I got this microphone that came in today that pairs up with my camera. I actually had one, but I lost it at a petting zoo. So it's really convenient, especially when I'm doing stuff for the course, um, just to have a wireless mic. It, I don't know, it just makes it really nice. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to end this video and start a new studio vlog for next week. So until next time, bye guys.